I'm in Windows 11. Let's take a look at how we can copy and paste using Remote Desktop. I'm going to open up the Remote Desktop application. If you don't see it, you can just do a search for it using the search button and type in Remote Desktop. Now, before we connect to the server we'd like to remote into, click on Show Options and then go to where it says Local Resources. You'll want to make sure this clipboard is checked. If it's not checked, you won't be able to copy and paste in to the other location. So I'll go ahead and connect to my remote session. And I just happen to be remoting into a server, but it doesn't matter. You could be remoting into another workstation too. So I've got this PowerPoint. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click on it and choose copy. And then I'm gonna right click and choose paste. And now I've been able to paste in that particular file. Now, of course, it won't open unless I have that application installed on that remote computer. Another interesting thing is that I have another remote session going on inside my Computer. So I've got a Windows 11 desktop. And notice if I right click, I can paste into there as well. On occasion, you're going to find that the, this double remote desktop session paste doesn't work. If that's the case, then just paste it into the first session and then right click and copy it again. And then you'll be able to paste it into the second session. Of course, you'll have to have the remote desktop turned on for using the clipboard here as well. So if I go to local resources, we can see that it's turned on here as well. If this was turned off, then we cannot double paste into another remote desktop session. You'll notice we can also paste backwards as well. So I'm going to delete the file on my original host computer. I'm going to copy here and I'm going to paste back. So we, it goes both directions when you enable that clipboard. So that is how we enable and use our pasting feature in a remote desktop session.